Imagine this, a bright flash in the sky. A few seconds later, the ground shakes. Windows explode. The air turns white hot. It's not an apocalypse. It's a rock the size of a house, moving faster than a bullet, and it just hit Earth. But what if it wasn't a small rock? What if it was a city killer asteroid, the kind that could erase an entire metropolis in seconds? Today, we're running the numbers, the terrifying math behind what would actually happen if a city killer asteroid hit Earth today. What would happen if a city killer asteroid hit Earth? The term city killer doesn't refer to a planet-ending asteroid like the one that wiped out the dinosaurs. Those are miles wide. A city killer is much smaller, between 50 to 150 meters across, about the size of a football field. But don't let that fool you. At 20 kilometers per second, even a rock that small carries more energy than the largest nuclear bomb ever built. We're talking tens of megatons of TNT, enough to flatten an entire metropolitan area. Let's do the math. A 100 meter asteroid, traveling at 20 kilometers per second, has the kinetic energy of roughly 200 megatons of TNT. That's over 13,000 times the bomb dropped on Hiroshima. If it exploded over a city like Los Angeles or London, it wouldn't leave a crater, it would vaporize the city center. Buildings within 10 kilometers would be instantly destroyed. The shockwave would flatten everything in a 30 kilometer radius. People miles away would be burned by thermal radiation and the air blast. It would shatter glass across half the region, like a sonic boom times a thousand. This isn't science fiction, we've seen previews. In 2013, a 20 meter meteor exploded over Chelyabinsk, Russia. The blast shattered windows in 7,000 buildings and injured 1,500 people all without ever touching the ground. Now imagine something five times bigger actually impacting instead of exploding in the air. In 1908, the Tunguska event flattened 80 million trees across 2,000 square kilometers, an explosion equal to 50 megatons. If that rock had hit over a city like Tokyo or New York, it would have been one of the darkest days in human history. So what if we saw one coming? NASA and other space agencies constantly scan the sky for near-Earth objects. Over 30,000 are tracked right now. And in 2022, NASA proved it could actually change an asteroid's path with the DART mission by smashing a spacecraft into one at 14,000 miles per hour. It worked. Humanity moved an asteroid for the first time in history. But here's the catch. To deflect an asteroid safely, we need years of warning. A city killer could be discovered only days or hours before impact, especially if it's coming from the direction of the sun. And if that happens, there's no stopping it. Let's say a 100-meter asteroid appeared tomorrow on a collision course with Earth and no time to stop it. It would enter the atmosphere at 12 to 15 miles per second, glowing brighter than the sun. The air beneath it would compress and heat up to thousands of degrees, creating a fireball that expands faster than sound. At the point of detonation, either in the air or on impact, everything nearby would be incinerated. Downtown gone, suburbs burning, emergency services overwhelmed, and a dust plume that could block sunlight for weeks. Even a so-called small asteroid could cost millions of lives if it struck the wrong place at the wrong time. Thankfully, city killers hit Earth only about once every few thousand years, but that's not never. Every time we look up, every asteroid we track, every mission we launch, it's humanity taking one more step towards survival. Because in the end, it's not about fear. It's about preparation and respect for the universe that made us and could one day unmake us. So, if a city killer asteroid hit Earth today, it wouldn't end the world, but it could end a world. The question isn't whether it will happen, but when. And when it does, will we be ready? If you love exploring science, space, and the unknown, don't forget to subscribe, like, 
and hit the bell for more deep dives into the mysteries of the universe. Until next time, stay curious.